out of the week, I go to dialysis, I get my blood cleaned, and I get a little fluid removed that my kidneys can't do. I randomly get a fever, and I feel horrible, and then the next day, I don't have dialysis, but it's kind of like my recovery day. My body thinks that my regular cells are a cold or something, so they start attacking it, and then it makes me sick. And with lupus nephritis, the same thing kind of happens, but it's in my kidney. Um, I started having symptoms, like I would be sick with flu-like symptoms almost every single month. Like I could expect every month to be sick. Um, at least one week. And then in 2014, my freshman year of high school, that's when I was diagnosed with the two forms of lupus. She'd be in the hospital doing homework. Um, and most of the doctors were like, you know, most kids your age would be on Facebook or, you know, TikTok and you're doing homework. But she was just that determined. And she taught me patience um, because I didn't understand what she was going through. And living with her and going through it with her taught me to be more patient. I think people don't understand, like, when they first look at me, they're like, oh, she's fine. Um, like, when I park in a handicapped parking spot, they're like, oh, why is this young person in a handicapped parking spot? Or when I go to the doctors and a lot of patients where I go are older than me, they're probably like, why is she here? She looks fine. I'm not fine. Um, I don't show it on the outside besides maybe if you see my bandages. Um, but other than that, I look normal. I'm not my disease. I'm still a 20-year-old. I like doing 20-year-old things. I love driving my car, just going to Target. And I still like to have fun in a safe way. <laughs> um, and just be as normal as I can be in this time and try to forget about um, my disease. Um until it's time to get to dialysis. But seeing her go through all the pain was very hard. Um, but um, I told her, like, she's my inspiration, my hero. <laughs> mm -hmm.